Everything okay? I don't like the look of that. They're coming in fast. This is Mask Alabama. We are an unarmed freighter. We have two skiffs approaching with armed intruders. Potential piracy situation. Copy, Alabama. You should alert your crew and get your fire hoses ready. Uh, yeah, it, is that it? Chances are it's just fishermen. They're not here to fish. Shot one! Take the hoses! This is not a drill, this is a real world situation. Remember, you know the ship. They don't. Stick together. And we'll be all right. One minute. I will kill all your friends. If you're going to shoot somebody, shoot me! Relax. Everything's going to be OK. Look at me. Sure. Look at me. Sure. I'm the captain now. Griffin, I think Seth MacFarlane has ruined the Massachusetts Boston area accent forever. Uh, and Tom Hanks, you know, I think also the other problem I have, not only do I only hear Peter Griffin, but it kind of goes in and out. And I think maybe Tom Hanks himself was wrestling with how heavy handed should I be here. Uh, and so that, that was kind of something that pulled me out of the trailer. Also interesting, this is the second trailer of the week. The other is Gravity, which I also reviewed today, where I'm like, interesting story, interesting premise but I don't know how I'm gonna sit through it for like two hours. I just don't see a full movie here. Uh, it's, it's hard to review this trailer. I have a lot of respect for C Captain Phillips in real life and what his crew went through. Uh, but at the same time, it's hard to make a feature length movie out of everything. I mean, just because something it is an amazing story, you know, I don't know if it's gonna be narratively compelling. I guess that's on the filmmakers to make that happen. Uh, I didn't think that 127 hours succeeded. Uh, and I would like to clarify, and this is where, you know, I think this is the gray area where I, when I reviewed that movie, we did a crew review for that. And everyone was like, oh, how can you not love 127 hours? What this man did was amazing. And it's like, no, what the, what the guy in 127 hours went through and what he had to do is amazing. And just because the movie of, of that incident didn't work out shouldn't take away from the real life drama and heroics. So I think it's important that we separate these two when we're talking about the film because, you know, it is a piece of art and um, sometimes sometimes it doesn't work. But I'll see this because, you know, it's produced by Scott Rudin, Paul Greengrass is directing, uh, and Tom Hanks is starring. And I think more often than not, I mean, all those people have had misfires, but more often than not, they know what they're doing. So I think this is of some interest to me to see. Uh, actually, also reminds me a little bit of Flight you know, uh, a captain of something in a harrowing situation having to overcome it. So we'll see. Uh, I'm not hugely excited about it. It's something, if it gets a lot of Oscar buzz, I maybe would see it in theaters, but so far it's looking like a rental to me. What do you think? Also, uh, comment down below if you think, you know, some people are saying they feel this is kind of racist because, you know, you have uh, mostly a white crew against, uh, you know, Somali black pirates. That's what happened, I'm guessing. So I don't know how that can be... I don't really think that's racist from the intent of the filmmakers. Uh, it's, un it's unfortunate. Nobody likes to see these black versus white uh, scenarios. But also, I'd be very curious to know about the actors playing the Somali pirates. Maybe there'll be a stand out there uh, because they're not American actors, and that's a tough role to pull off. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to investigate that myself. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trailer review for Captain Phillips. Thank you for everybody who asked for it, and I hope you'll check out my other trailer reviews as well as other videos. All right, and maybe subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.